It's even better than I imagined. <sighs> Morning, Chris here from Puck Hunt Gaming. First things first, thank you all so much for checking out my first video here on this channel. If you happen to miss it, make sure you click through the channel and check that out first. It is currently 6.36 in the morning. And what am I doing up at 6.36 in the morning? Well, we could be making a pickup today for our brand new hockey video game collection that could very well be the biggest single pickup that I may ever make for this collection. It all started back when I made a Facebook post in marketplace groups and local buy and sell and game trade groups looking for everyone's spare hockey video games. I had a lot of people reach out to me with some offers, some of them were pretty good, but I locked in on one seller in particular. He is a video game reseller, and apparently like a lot of video game resellers, he has amassed a giant amount of sports titles, hockey included. We've been trading messages forever now, trying to find a day where I can drive the over an hour to his place to try to see what he's got. Today, the sun is shining, our schedules have aligned, and it's nothing but smooth pavement ahead. So we are going to make this drive, and we are going to check out what he's got, and hopefully, if the planets align, come home with an absolute mega lot of hockey games. Let's go. You're coming with. you go on a road trip and you don't get Tim Hortons, are you even Canadian? Thanks so much. All right, gang, let's go. Don't stop thinking about tomorrow. All right, guys, we just pulled in outside. It was a great drive. I'm about to head in. I don't think I'm gonna film inside. He's got young kids, he's a student, he's studying for exams. I don't really want to uh, get all up in his face, but uh, hopefully we have lots to show off uh, in a little bit. Stick around. Oh my gosh, you guys. That was absolutely amazing. He was a super awesome guy. I'm not gonna get too, too much into it now because I obviously still have to drive an hour back home. But let me tell you, it was a success. I'm going to drive very fast now so I can show this stuff off to you as soon as I can. Let's go. Holy puck, you guys. It's even better than I imagined. Here it is. Just look at this lot. What you're seeing right now is 50. 50 different ice hockey video games. This lot alone spans 10 different consoles. He had all of his hockey games pulled aside for me in this massive box, and I got to just kind of pick and choose uh, which ones I needed. And he even threw in those couple accessories after the fact, a couple of extra freebies, because I bought so much. So, without further ado, let's show it off. I'm not gonna go into super detail about a lot of these. There's just too many. I'm gonna do this console by console, starting with the oldest stuff and moving up to the most recent. Oh my God, I can't even contain myself. I know I said it was like Christmas last time, but this, if that was like Christmas, this is like 10 Christmases. Let's go. First up, the Sega Genesis. Maybe the dream console as far as retro sports games are concerned. I believe it was a little bit faster than its competition, which really lent itself well to the kind of intense speed that comes with sports games. And we are gonna jump in with three, and we're jumping right in with maybe the best of them all. Maybe the greatest hockey game of all, NHL 94 for the Sega Genesis. So thrilled to get this. I will still need a manual, but either way, what hockey collection is complete without a copy of NHL 94? Moving right along, NHL 97 with John Van Beesbrook on the cover. This one is complete on the inside with all of its manuals and its extras. I may indeed collect these masks at some point. They have become expensive and tough to find, but of course it doesn't mean I don't want them. The third and final Sega Genesis game we've got here, this one expensive to this day 
is NHL 98. So this one clearly just cartridge only. Three huge pickups, three hard to find games nowadays, and the prices, even for these games, only seem to be steadily increasing. So really happy to start my Sega Genesis hockey collection with these three bad boys here. Let's get to the next one. That brings us to the N64. Maybe, maybe my childhood favorite console. Now I've played my fair share of hockey games for the N64. I loved NHL 99 on the N64. All the iterations of Wayne Gretzky's 3D hockey. I didn't play this one though. This is Blades of Steel 99 with Yaramir Yager and his famous mullet on the front of this one. Must be getting pretty close to getting all the different Blades of Steel games after the intro video, having picked up the Blades of Steel on Game Boy and the NES. Maybe we'll have to check how many more we've got, but that is the only N64 game, so that means we get to move right along. The PlayStation 1. Now, I know I just said I loved this game for N64. Let's see if we end up loving it for PlayStation. Eric Lindros on the cover of NHL 99. Lindros was one of my favorite players when I was a kid, so obviously thrilled to have anything with his picture on it. So as a Flyers fan growing up, I liked this guy too. That's John LeClaire on what was clearly a rental copy of NHL Face Off 98. And honestly, I love rental games. This tells the story of a time and place in 1998, and I don't know, call me nostalgic, call me romantic, but I think that's just... Super awesome, and it definitely has a place in my collection. As does this one. This is our first duplicate already, but we have another copy of NHL 2000. This one may be a condition upgrade compared to the last one. I even told the, the gentleman selling me these games, I'm like, I think I have this one already. He was like, ah, you can take it. Next! On to the PlayStation 2. Now that was my main console when I was a teenager. So I still have in the collection behind me, I think four or five PS2 hockey games. And even with the lot, this bunch that we have here, I still think we're only just halfway through all of the hockey games on the PS2, still a ways to go. The PS2 may be the console that has the most hockey games of all consoles. I'll have to double check that. But let's show you what we've got here. We've got quite a stack, starting with NHL 2002, NHL 2003, NHL 2004, two copies of NHL 2004. You'll see there are two different cover athletes. Perhaps that's a story for another time, but this seller, God love him, indulged me in some of the cover variations he did have. We've also got NHL 06, NHL 07, there's a pattern here, NHL 08, and the end of the EA franchise for me in this slot is NHL 09. Now that's not all of the hockey games though, we also have the 2K series, doesn't exist anymore, but it was thriving on the PS2, and we've got 2K6, 2K 7, 2K9, I've got 2K8 on the shelf already, and this one's gotten a little pricier, 2K10. So still a ways to go in the PS2, but I'm super excited because these are maybe among the cheaper ones to pick up as well. Next! On to the original Xbox. A lot of the same titles here as the PS2, so let's just get down to them. We have ESPN NHL 2K5. We have another cover variation. We've got both copies here of NHL 2K6 for the original Xbox. Matt Sundin of the Maple Leafs and Marty Turco of the Dallas Stars. Cool. And the last 2K game we have for the Xbox, 2K7. Back onto the EA titles for the Xbox. We'll start again with 04. I still have some of the cover variations to go for all consoles. NHL 05, NHL 06, and finally, NHL 07. I know a lot of these titles will exist across many consoles, but this is a collection. Maybe we'll compare them. How does NHL 07 play on Xbox compared to PS2? I should be the one to answer that question, right? 
Next! We're gonna continue with our green theme here with the Xbox 360. A couple of those games on the OG Xbox also came to the 360, including 2K7. And right back to the EA yet again with another copy of NHL 07. NHL 08. NHL 09. Got a fun story about Dion Phaneuf, maybe, for uh, another episode down the road. NHL 10. NHL 11. Back-to-back -back years of Blackhawks on the cover. NHL 12. Steven Stamkos on the cover. NHL 13, which also has a Stanley Cup edition, one of the few NHL games that exists in a steel book. I've got it for the PS3 behind me in the collection, still have to get the 361, and we'll finish off the 360 with NHL 14, the legendary Martin Brodeur on the cover. Huh. We still have a huge stack of games left, I can't believe it. There's only one handheld game in the entire lot. This is kind of a cool one. This is NHL 07 for the PSP. I don't yet own a PSP, but I'm glad to know there's at least one hockey offering available for it. There are, I believe, three, but you get the picture. Next! This right here is actually the entire NHL library on the Nintendo Wii. We did it! Yeah, only four NHL licensed hockey video games on the Wii. Let's jump in. We have 2K9. EA did not have an offering on the Nintendo Wii. We also have 2K10. There are some editions of this, including this one you can see here, that came with a bonus DVD. 2K11. And NHL Slapshot. Now this one is really cool, and these are the accessories that came with it. So this is a Team Canada stick where your nunchuck and your Wiimote set in here, and you can play like that. And we actually have a Wii branded one that is completely sealed, brand new. These still sell, I think, for $25 or $30 on eBay almost all day. And he tossed it in like it was nothing. Love it. That's not to say these four games are the only hockey games for the Wii. There's at least one more kids sports hockey, kids with a Z, of course, I roll. That is not obviously an NHL licensed game, but because it's hockey, I will eventually be picking that one up. On to the next one, we're getting down there now. I missed a console. We've got the Nintendo GameCube. I've been maybe most excited about adding GameCube titles to my collection over the last few weeks, and we'll start it off here with a couple of hockey titles. NHL 2003, Jerome McGinley on the cover of this one. And this one, which I'm really excited to play, this is a bit of a pricey one these days too, we've got NHL Hits 2003. This one complete in box as well. Really excited to dive into that one. On to our last console. It's the PS3. The PlayStation 3 was my college console. I got it, I believe, the Christmas before I went off to grad school. And I remember hanging out uh, in my first ever apartment, hanging out with my buddies and playing hockey video games. So uh, this one hits me in the feels for sure. We've got one 2K title here. We've got 2K9. And we'll finish it off with the EA titles. Another NHL 09, NHL 10, NHL 11. What comes next? NHL 12. NHL 13. And the final game of this mega lot is NHL 14. Wow. I am just 
blown away, honestly, that we just unboxed 50 different hockey video games. What a way to really jumpstart this collection. I'm absolutely thrilled. Unfortunately, that does mean this is the end of the video. So thank you all so much again for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. If you really like the video, you can hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.